Hey, 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 what's happening, amazing Forex traders? Welcome back to another version, another volume of Trader Talk, guys. Um, once again, it's yours truly, Dapu Wallace, and I'd like to obviously apologize for not having the video out last week. The reason why there wasn't a video out last week was because the market hasn't really been doing much. You have to understand that I'm the trader who likes clear direction. I need the market to obviously tell me, hey, Dabs, I'm ready to go in this direction. So if for the past two weeks, the market hasn't really done much. We've been capped. The dollar index has been capped in the range. Dollar index spanning across AUD, USD, Euro, USD, GBP, USD, all the dollar base pairs have been pretty much capped in the range. It might look like the market is moving on a one hour time frame, 30 minute time frame, but if you scale to higher time frames, you realize that the market is actually capped in the range. And this is exactly why when you get into a trade, you find out that the trade doesn't really go that far before the market starts snapping back to your entry and eventually stopping out. And personally, I'm not really a fan of trading like that. I like to trade, place my trades and hold. So this is exactly why, you know, the market just hasn't, you know, in football, they call it the true pass. You know that true pass when when you, when you split the defense, you just give you bah! and the ball gets to the striker and is a goal. I don't like, you know, pass, 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 come here, this, this, this. I like the true pass to be clear. And lately, guys, the Forex defense has been quite tight. <laughs> so I'm going to take you guys to my screen shortly to obviously just show you guys what's been happening on the charts and uh, potentially show you guys some trading opportunities as well. But before I go into that, um, as always, every week I get messages you know, from you guys thanking me about the Forex Mastery program and how it's absolutely changed your lives. Um, Mr. What's his name? Mr. Michael, a guy called Michael, you know, he shared a fantastic story with me. He said how he was in debt over the years from Forex trading. And you know, Forex can be very, very daunting. Forex can actually drive you crazy. And ever since he bought the course for just, he said this $99 he spent on the Forex Mastery program, is one of the the best investments he has ever made the guy has lost over seventy thousand dollars in his life from trading and since he took the program he's been able to recalibrate his trading he's been able to grow his account by 60 percent and he's currently talking to investors uh, because he took the forex mastery program and the investor program as well he's currently talking to investors who are going to obviously invest in his trading as well to the to the sum of i think he said half a million dollars he's looking to take on because you know after taking the program he now has a more consistent approach guys these stories i have to share them because they make me happy this is why i do what i do to change lives you know to, to, to tell you guys that i markets life iml ponzi schemes sign up people to sign up people is not the way to trade forex day trading is not the way to go indicators is not the, not the way to go signals is not the way to go too so to actually see the forex mastery program change lives and see people actually you know take up trading and see trading actually put food on their table makes me so happy so guys yes shout out to you michael i love you very much thank you for listening to everything that i shared on the program and thank you for implementing them positively and yeah thank you for being you thank you for being an amazing trader so guys without any further ado i'm going to take you guys over to my screen and let's go hey there what's happening people oops i hit my mic by mistake hey there what's happening people welcome inside of my screen um once again like i said it's good to have you guys um to be able to speak to you guys and communicate with you guys has actually been a while um unfortunately i couldn't put out a trader talk video last week because the market wasn't actually doing that much um and when the market isn't exactly doing that much there isn't really that much to talk about um so uh, this is why if you see me away from the charts for a bit just understand that I'm, I'm i'm trying to give the market room to breathe and for the market to present to me opportunities that i can eventually come and share with you guys but today i want to update you guys on what has been happening so far and hopefully we can potentially find some trading opportunities that we can take advantage of this week today is tuesday the 4th of may 2021 and yeah i'm glad to be back on the charts on the screens and let's dive right in so guys the first the first pair that i want to speak about today is the euro now the euro has been a bit stubborn over the last i don't know month two months now um we made some money early on in the year january february from the euro however ever since then the euro has been neither here nor there um so 
we were expecting the euro to pretty much fly out from here all the way here we pull back all the way down here to come and test this black line forex mastery students you know um why we use black lines how we use black lines the market came to test this black line just shy of this major level and if you actually come and draw your trend line like so you realize sorry guys i have message coming you would realize that um this market actually did come to test this you know this level on the trend line so and this is looking like one two this is looking like the third touch of the trend line for euro usd so what the third touch of the trend line actually signifies to me is that the market might be ready to bounce out now the third touch of the trend line always does the trick and so far so good the euro looks like it. because whilst we were trading here i kept on I just wasn't comfortable with buying the euro because I felt like the euro was looking a little bit too linear. Linear means that the, the market was looking a little bit too straight. I had a feeling that the market wanted to come and like, you know, consolidate and retrace a bit more. Okay, you know, expand a bit more before it eventually heads to the upside. And that's exactly what has you know played out and has happened thus far. So we've actually swung to the right, as you can see and we have bounced out of here if i check the weekly time frame this should be a very bullish candle yes yeah, so on the weekly time frame i can see that um you know it was a bullish engulfing candle off of this you know trend line support off of this black line and not only have we you know had one engulfing candle we've had two and we've had three and all three of them have gone ahead to break this minor resistance level somewhere about here okay um so that being said um i'm gonna need to pause this because my laptop is acting up a little bit yeah guys sorry about that i had a little break in transmission so you know i can see one two three and we've broken above this support that was holding this that eventually turned resistance we're back above and from what I can see from a weekly time frame perspective, the euro might just be heading to the upside. Now, something is holding the euro from actually, you know, jumping all the way to the upside. What is actually holding the euro from jumping to the upside is actually this trend line like so. So if I just delete this. So two things can happen to the euro as we speak. I, I, what I feel is most likely going to happen is we're most likely going to pull back into this yellow bar and then eventually break to the upside okay so in the, in the case of the euro i'm actually favoring the upside to the tune of 70 percent or we can just collapse all the way to the downside now how do you go about trading this is simple and very straightforward allow the market come into this level let it form a base on a daily time frame a bullish engulfing candle off of this level will be sweet you can probably buy off of that level or you can wait for a break out of here now my targets are going to be all the way at this blue bar somewhere around here because i'm very confident actually first level targets always at the 100 percent retracement you want to take out a percentage of your profit somewhere around here but i'm very confident that if this bullish momentum sustains the euro is actually going to blow up quite significantly or on the flip side we can roll over to the downside so you know that's the thing with forex like you know you, you can't be 100 percent certain except the market actually confirms to me so for a bullish bias i would wait for a base to form here a daily bullish engulfing candle to break all the way to the upside or the flip side for a bearish scenario, a daily candle close here, then what we might be seeing some further bleeding all the way down to this blue bar around here. This is the Euro USD in a nutshell. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna be watching this pair very carefully. Once again, a base around here, a daily base around here, you know, it pull in nicely for a push out to the upside or if i just see a total collapse to the downside that will obviously present some selling opportunities for us but at the moment the euro is pretty much trying to decide what exactly it wants to do as it has been doing for oh my god almost a month now it's been absolutely ridiculous right um the next pair i want to speak about which has actually been on a lot of people's mind is gold now what exactly is happening with gold today i want to just shed some light out because a lot of you guys seem confused you know you're just clicking buy sell buy sell left and right. 
<laughs> you know, the market is just tossing you guys left, right, and center. So what exactly is happening with gold is this. Um, on the monthly time frame, we have a double top that has formed on gold. As you can see, massive double top. We're expecting this market to bleed all the way to the downside. However, um, on time frames lower than the monthly time frame, from what I can see, the market is this trend line is holding gold from collapsing this trend line and it's one so this is looking like the third touch of the trend line for gold so there's conflict of interest when it comes to gold there's a lot of conflict the monthly time frame is saying yes dabs bearish reversal all that but the weekly time frame is telling me yo this trend line is here now whenever this happens i usually do nothing i like to stay away until the market finally decides what it wants to do but one thing i know for sure is gold is eventually going to rally up a bit more to 1.825 test here once we get here we can then decide what it wants to do and i'm very certain there is a bearish trend line a descending trend line that is coming all the way from the upside so you want to watch out for this level is a key level right about here okay this area right about here is actually a very important level so you know um this will actually be the third touch of the trend line if we hold here and i see a bearish engulfing candle down i'll be looking for sell opportunities however if gold goes ahead to break here whoosh like breaks full erection candle break ladies and gentlemen gold is heading for brand new highs okay so at the moment this area is going to be our area of decision i feel that this market is most likely going to pull into here once we get somewhere around here um whatever the market decides to do from here it will now dictate what exactly we're going to be doing um, after, you know, after now. So I'm expecting us to pull into here definitely. If we have a bearish engulfing candle down here, a little something like this. If I see a bearish engulfing candle, a little something like this sells to the downside if i see a bullish engulfing candle break we're going to be seeing some buying opportunities all the way to the upside either way we have fantastic trading opportunities let me just clone this bad boy we have fantastic trading opportunities at our disposal if we break to the upside um I'm going to be looking at buy situations all the way up into two thousand dollars per ounce if we hold here first level target is going to be here so we have pips either way so but we need the market needs to tell us what exactly it wants to do um before i go ahead and comment so guys you know that's the euro and gold in a nutshell gbp usd is still playing around it's still acting like a spoiled brat um doesn't want to commit in either direction like i was saying gbp usd is a very straightforward situation if i draw my trend lines like so we have broken this is a major level we've broken out of this major level do you want to head higher or have you broken the trend line okay if you want to head higher you need to let us know if you want to come lower you know we, we need to take out this level but for the thing about the pairs is guys january february the market was just going she was just going take it off april the market slowed down to consolidate okay this consolidation started off in last week in february so March, last week in february march april up until now we've been consolidating neither here nor there for those of us who made money on the up you know the market going to the upside if you've made money to the upside try and hold your capital okay because what tends to happen to most traders is they make money in an impulse leg and then because they are so impatient and they just want to keep trading they eventually lose the money back to the market when the market starts ranging don't forget for every impulse leg for every push to the upside there must be a resultant sideways movement it's just the way the market just the way the market works the market works in waves when you read about elliott wave this is the waves okay so if i know that there's always going to be consolidation after every impulse move what do i do i chill i take advantage of the impulse waves and i chill during the consolidative stage because when the market is consolidating we don't know the highs and the lows of the consolidation we don't know where the market wants to stick between the range we just don't know anything and i don't like trading blindly this is why so this is why you notice that for the you know last couple of 
weeks you know it's been difficult for us to gauge a proper direction because if we say it's going to go up next thing we know it's coming back down if we say it's going to go down next thing it's going back up why all these are all characteristics of ranging times and i'm very glad i'm here to go through this ranging period with you guys so that i can teach you guys and show you guys how to comport yourself how to behave yourself um and for those of you who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, I suggest you strongly suggest you do so. It will teach you how to sit on your hands during times like this. It will teach you how to analyze the market properly and how to sit on your hands during times like this. We only like to trade, we only like to trade in the direction of the flow of the river. We only like to trade when the market is trending. During sideways movements, we're confused. We don't know what to do. And that's fine. If you don't know what's happening in the market, doesn't mean you're dumb doesn't mean you don't know what's happening it just means that the market is confused how can you tell somebody what to do that is confused this guy doesn't know what he wants to do until he commits all he needs to do is one weekly bullish engulfing candle break a couple of levels and we're good we're good home run it's time for a home run but for now don't get sucked into the consolidative stages. This is a major problem for most traders. So we've gone over GBPU and let's see what AUDUSD is saying. AUDUSD is pretty much the same thing, okay? Impulse, consolidation, rally to the upside. We're moving sideways. During this side, do we go up? Do we come down? We don't know for now, so we need to wait. Are we going to break lower? Are we going to break higher? This is already looking like... Uh, like a head and shoulder are we going to break lower if we want to break lower we need to take out this neckline for further downside if we want to break higher we need to take out this level and then rally all the way to the upside so guys this is the analysis pretty much in a nutshell i know you guys don't like being like listening to me when i say be patient but it is what it is you have to just chill and allow the market come to you spend time with your family spend time doing other things um, watch a couple of my other videos i always speak about more multiple streams of income, how to get multiple streams of income so that it can distract you from times whereby the market is not exactly cooperating. And for those of you who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, ensure to do so. The link is going to be down there below. And I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I'm actually in the process of shooting about 30 Guys, yes, this is content creation month for me, May. So I'm actually in the process of shooting more videos that are ultimately going to help you guys make more money. Make more money in the Forex market and generally make more money on the internet. So guys, um, stick around while I take you to my other screen. I don't know if there's any pair I'm missing now. CGBP, JPY for a bit. Everything is consolidating. After every impulse wave, we have consolidation. Everything seems to be consolidating at, the, at, the, at this point, to be honest everything just seems to be consolidating so there, there isn't really much going on except you want to be trapped inside you know the thing about it is one hour time frame traders you guys might think you're spotting opportunities but what you're actually spotting is neither up nor down neither up nor down neither up nor down neither up it wants to come down next thing it's going up next thing it's coming down next thing it's going up next thing it wants to come down and it's going up oh my god that's not the way to trade we need a clear direction to trade and the forex mastery program will teach you guys how to do so guys um stick around um i might have something to tell you before you guys go so let's go to my other screen all right guys so there you have it thank you for staying till the very end of um that very brief trader talk now guys like i said earlier there isn't really much going on in the market. You just need to chill. I know you've been hearing me say this for three weeks, but it is what it is. I'll rather preserve because I made a significant, I probably made about 30 something percent um, at the, since the beginning of the year up until now. I don't want to give it back to the market. So I have to wait about 40% of my account of return. So I don't want to give it back to the market. So I have to wait. I have to be patient. I have to ensure that the market is ready, is ripe to give me the opportunities that I need to make this shit happen. Okay. I don't want to give the market any of my money. So I'm being extremely careful. Um, so yeah, guys. So if you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, I encourage you to do so. It will keep you sane. It will keep you consistent. It will teach you how to analyze the market once place your trades, and go and spend time with your family. This is what I stand for, and this is what the Forex Mastery Program stands for. The link is going to be in the bio down below. And don't forget to drop me a comment if you found this video helpful. I remember sharing a video at the beginning, I remember sharing a testimony at the beginning of this video about a guy called Michael, and I'm still, he's made me happy. 
He's made me truly proud because I remember him. I remember the day he signed up for the program. I remember him sending me a message on Telegram, you know, complaining about his issues and all that. And I just told him, grab the program. If you can implement the things on the program, you're very, you're, 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 you're going to be on the right track. And the guy comes back to me um, just on Friday and telling me all this amazing story of how he's made 60% back on his account and how he's about to secure some half a million dollars in investment after taking... <coughs> The Forex Mastery course. So, shout out to every single one of you. Obviously, the amazing traders on the Telegram group that make the, te the community fantastic. Forex Mastery students on the Telegram group. I love you guys very much. I see every single one of you. Keep striving. Keep pushing. And yes, at the end of the day, you will come out victorious. So, take it easy. Um, that's it from me. That will is. I'll catch you guys on the subsequent videos. Like I said, I'm currently in the process of shooting more fire, fire content. So, guys... Watch out for some more. Take it easy and I'll catch you guys next week. Adios and peace out.